Hey guys, my name is John Draxinger, and today I wanted to make a video um, of answering the question as to whether or not it is possible to remove Sharpie marker from a sports jersey on the, um, whether it's the logo, the uh, number, whatever the case may be. Um, I watched a video on YouTube, was not super impressed with what the guy did. He uh, used some deodorant, uh, he used some off bug spray. Um, he did get it off, but the, the number was not like a stitched number like you see here. It wasn't a stitched number. Um, so the reason I'm making this video today is I'm a huge Penguins fan. Um, if I shift the camera just to this side, you can see I've got some memorabilia over there, uh, a lot of memorabilia over there. And so the reason why I'm doing the video is I was online and I saw this um, really, really awesome Mario Lemieux jersey. Um, it's actually an authentic on ice game jersey. Um, the only problem with that was when I got the jersey, this is what it looked like. It said, to Macho Man, good luck, and it has Mario Lemieux's signature. Now, it came with a certificate of authenticity, so I knew that it was real, and I knew that the, um, the quality of the jersey was also, you know, really, really excellent as well. Now, I'm making the video because I know a lot of people probably run into situations where you have uh, something that's customized and you think, man, it'd be really nice to uh, get that off there. Um, I have a Terry Bradshaw picture uh, right behind me that um, is customized to some guy named Joe, and my name's John, so um, I, I didn't do anything to it. Still thought it was a cool picture, so I have it. But anyway, um, I want to get into the video because the one I watched on YouTube, again, I just I wasn't sure that if it explained it very clearly. So before we get started, a couple of things that you will need, um, and again, before we even start this process, I left some of the uh, Sharpie on so you could see some of the process. It is very tedious. It is something that you have to be very, very patient with. You cannot rush the process. Um, I would say I've, I've spent probably a good two hours just to get off what I've gotten off so far, and I'll show you that in just a second. Before we start, uh, some things you'll need. Um, you'll need some bleach, okay? Um, again, obviously with bleach, you're um, not going to be able to use that on anything other than a white number. Um, if you drip it on the black part of the, you know, the penguin jersey here, obviously it's not going to come out and you're going to be totally bummed because your jersey is going to be ruined. Um, you're also going to need some um, isopropyl alcohol, rubbing alcohol. Now, I didn't start with this. Um, I'm using this today. Um, I started with nail polish remover, essentially the same thing, but I'm just letting you know that um, that's what we're going to use today. Um, and then I used this OxyClean 5-in-1. Uh, I, I sprayed this probably two or three times. I'd let it sit for an hour. And then I had some toothbrushes I used um, to scrub. And then, you know, one of the things that you're really going to need to get the stuff out is uh, some Q-tips. So that's essentially what you're going to need. I've got the, um, the bleach here. I've got the, um, oh, I forgot to mention too, there is um, laundry detergent with hot water in this one. And this is the, um, the isopropyl alcohol. Now, this is the one thing that actually starts to pull the uh, Sharpie out of the jersey. Now, what happens is the ink starts to kind of spread as you put that on there. So you need to be very careful. One of the things that I considered doing, and I may actually do today, if I have some, is um, putting some tape, um, which I do. So I'm gonna go ahead and line the outside of the jersey with some Gorilla Tape, which, you know, it will not hurt the jersey. It'll just really put you in a position to where if it does uh, spread too far, you're not gonna get it onto, um, you know, anything that's gonna damage outside the, uh, the number. Uh, also very important, one of the things that I wanted to mention to you is that you need to have a folded towel. I would say fold this way, then fold this way, and maybe uh, once more 
to put inside underneath the jersey so that if anything seeps through, it doesn't go to the other side because again, you don't want to ruin the jersey. So before we start, let me show you where we are, where I'm at so far with the process. So I got the jersey. Um, you know, I, I paid two hundred dollars for it. Um, if I can get the sharpie out, it's essentially worth about a thousand dollars. Um, I'm not going to resell it. I'm a collector. So again, I'll probably just hang it in my office. But so far, this is where we're at. So obviously, there is no um, recognition of the two macho man. Remember, two macho man. Good luck, Mario Lemieux. So we were able to get all that out. Now, I will say this. There are some orange specks that you can see i mean it's hard to see but they're in there and another thing that happens guys is you will start to see some um you know the thread's gonna kind of tear i mean not tear but it's gonna kind of pull apart a little bit so you want to be really careful about how hard you're scrubbing um i have a wet rag that i keep handy as well that way whenever i put the alcohol or the bleach on i can kind of wipe that down um but I'm just letting you know that because, you know, it is, uh, it's an expensive jersey. Um, and obviously using Q-tips, you won't do a lot of damage, but I found that most of that damage occur occurred when I used toothbrushes, when I was scrubbing really hard to kind of get that stuff out. So again, I mean, for what it was, I mean, for it to look like that, I mean, that that's pretty incredible. I mean, you from a distance would never know there was something there. So again, I'm gonna show you, and. Uh, the next couple minutes, uh, hopefully not too long, uh, what it looks like to kind of get maybe, we'll just do one word and we'll see how that all plays out. So we'll start off with putting our towel. Uh, let me shift the camera down onto the jersey so you can see everything pretty clearly. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put this towel inside and we're gonna lay it right underneath the good luck part. So that way, if anything happens, we know that if it bleeds through, you know, we're gonna be, we're gonna be okay. So the first thing you do is you're gonna grab some Q-tips. Um, I did say I would put some tape on here. I think I am gonna do that. Just kinda kinda lay that there. Um, again, that should come off fairly easily just to be safe. Um, and I'll probably put some, let's see. I don't want to put it on the signature, but I'll probably put some there. Now, the little bit of residue that's left over up here, um, I may try and go back over that once more. And guys, remember this process, this is all about patience and um, it's just being methodical. And it's also about just going back over it um, again and again and again. So we're gonna start off and I'm gonna take two Q-tips and I'm gonna dip them into this alcohol. Okay, so I'm gonna dip them in there. I started off with one, but I found two was pretty good. And then you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna kind of rub into the letters, okay? So you're just gonna rub into the letters and then you're gonna see that the ink will start to actually go onto the Q-tip. You can see it pulling onto the Q-tip. So again, you gotta be very patient and slow and methodical. Then you're gonna flip them around and you're gonna come back and you're gonna go over it again. And you're gonna just do this very, very, very methodically, guys. Remember, it's slow and steady because if you start to rush this process, you are going to ruin the jersey and it's going to be useless. So look, there's a pretty good amount of ink on there already. Um, and so let's see if we can um, go ahead and do it again. Um, so yeah, it's a, uh, it's really interesting cause I did not think it was actually going to work and I was shocked to find out, um, how much isopropyl alcohol actually would do. So with these, uh, Q-tips, I'm going to dispose of them. Um, and, and you want to kind of, you want to, you know, switch out every, you know, you don't want to, you know, keep trying to use the same ones too much because you don't want to keep rubbing the ink into the Jersey. Um, so again, now we're on this D. Now, what I've found to be true too is in some places, guys, the, um, the ink where the um, athlete was a little bit more heavy handed, 
um, it's a little bit more difficult to get out. Like those orange spots that I showed you that were up top, um, that was a result of uh, Lemieux just being, you know, really heavy handed with his, uh, with his Sharpie. And so again, we're getting uh, some pretty good progress here. And so let's see where we're at. And then um, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take this, uh, we're gonna take this wet rag and we're gonna try and wipe and just see kind of what we can get off, um, go around it. Now, when you use the um, when you use the uh, bleach, guys, just remember that it's gonna kind of it's gonna make you a little bit nervous at first because it looks kind of you know weird, but it will dry out okay. So um, let's go ahead and dip. We're gonna go ahead and take uh, two of the Q-tips, dip them in bleach, and remember when you're doing this. Guys, don't just swing your hand over after dipping them in bleach because you do not want to, for any reason, get a drip on this jersey for any reason. So now you can see that where it was bleeding through, it's starting to come up pretty well. So you wanna go ahead and just go ahead and flip that over. And again, remember, as I said before, this is a, it's a pretty tedious process. Um, and we're gonna just try and do this one word and see how we uh, how we pan out. Now I'm getting really close to the edge here on the D, so I don't want to be too uh, heavy-handed with the bleach. But I'm gonna go ahead and just keep rubbing and rubbing. Now I will say this: um, this this word here, I mean, this came out a lot faster than the other uh, the Macho Man that I did. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, you know, I'm not having to spend as much time now. Um, so once you do the bleach a couple times, um, you're, you'll notice, you know, it looks a little discolored initially, but you know, what I was doing was I was taking a hair dryer, I would dry it out. Um, but again, you want to apply pressure in some areas. Um, and also too, I mean, I'm going to try and use the toothbrush, but Let's see, let's just see how this, how this comes off with just the uh, Q-tips. Uh, yeah, I'm very, very, very impressed with how much has come out so far. And again, um, I was using the nail polish remover at first, which I think has a lot to do with why it was taking so long. I think the level of alcohol was just so much different in the, um, the nail polish remover. I just don't think there was as much. So, um, so I will um, continue just to move forward with this and we're gonna go ahead and um, we're gonna go ahead and just see now with the soap um, how this will play out. So with soap, what we're gonna do is, this is when we take our toothbrush, okay? So we're gonna dip our toothbrush in here. Um, I'm gonna kinda switch that around a little bit. Um, I always kind of like make sure that whatever I'm using, um, you know, I, I do my best to make sure I get any kind of residue off. So yeah, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Now I should have, and I think what I'm gonna do guys, so that I don't have to like, pitter patter around. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and just do the whole the whole thing as far as both the words. Um, just for the sake of being able to like really scrub and you know make sure the, the process is going the right way. So I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in here real quick and let you kind of see how far we've gotten just on that one um, that one quick layover. Um, so that's where we're at with the word good, if you can see that. Now, that's pretty good. I mean, no, <laughs> no pun intended. Um, so let me go ahead and work on luck. So let's go ahead and we'll start to work on the word luck now. So um, let me zoom in for you so you can see a little bit. Let me see if I can do that. Can I zoom in? I don't think I can. That's okay. So uh, let's go ahead and work on luck. So we're going to start with the uh, isopropyl alcohol again. We're gonna go ahead and rub that in there real well. And again, it is, it, it does bum me out that, you know, 
you just can't get every single you know drop out but you do get most of it and so what i'm going to do is um i should have done this on a time lapse and that way you guys could have seen you know it fast forward and so you didn't have to kind of sit through all this but it's okay if you're watching the video and you want to kind of see the uh complete process you're welcome to stick around um so anyway uh, a little bit about me again i'm from pittsburgh um, i am a huge huge penguins fan um big sydney crosby fan i grew up in uh pittsburgh and i moved to um, florida at the age of 21 I actually uh, was addicted to heroin um, for about uh, 10 years and um, got myself in quite a bit of trouble and so I moved here uh, to try and kind of run from my problems and uh, obviously I took every one of them with me and uh, ended up going to jail quite a few, quite a few times, uh, 15 to be exact. Um, but anyway, I say that just to, you know, give you a little bit of background on me. I, uh, I now currently run a, um, a homeless shelter for single moms with children, um, and I'm a middle school pastor um, in Leesburg, Florida. So uh, God's been really good to me. Um, he's really helped me turn my life around, and uh, so I can get back to you know just enjoying my hobbies and passions you know some of those things are you know ho obviously hockey and you know uh, i have two awesome boys i have a beautiful wife and um so yeah life's good um you have no 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 real complaints coming from me um okay so now that we've done that we're gonna switch over to bleach um let me go ahead and wipe that down with a rag and just kind of see where we see where we end up um yeah i always want to come back through guys with the rag and just kind of wipe that up and that way you don't leave any extra residue now unfortunately it looks like the word luck is going to be a little bit more difficult um to lift off the jersey than um than the word good so let's see how it goes all right so we got our bleach and let's see let's see what we got um, I may try and use something too. Um, I, I, I noticed that in the video that I watched, I saw the guy using his fingertips to kind of really dig into the, uh, the jersey. But again, um, you remember I told you when you do that, you're just really, you know, risking, um, you know, damaging the thread. And so I don't, I don't really want to do that. So I'm trying to be extra careful, um, but I, I may, I may, you know, if it comes down to it and I can't get all this off, I may do that. Um, so I'll zoom in again and you can see that when it dries, like the word good, it's already, it looks more faded and gone than it, than it did before we even started. So I'll show you that in just a second. So... So let's go ahead and take our rag. Um, actually, I'm sorry. Let's go ahead and use our um, our toothbrush and get some soapy water on there. And now, because I can go over this whole thing, I can really kind of apply pressure, which is you know going to make it a lot easier to to kind of scrub. And I am, I'm telling you what, guys, this, this has been so much easier than the last time. Good night. I mean, this is amazing. Now, I'm, it's looking like the L is going to be the one that gives me the toughest, the toughest time here. But let's see what happens. Put some more water on there, soap water. So... So now that we've done that, let's take our rag. And it's always good too, guys, just a little, little um, you know, a little heads up here. Uh, hot water is obviously always going to be the way to go when you're trying to get, you know, stuff lifted. Hot water always seems to do much better than cold water. Um, so now, go ahead and wipe that down. 
You kind of want to go on both angles, up, up and down, and side to side. And um, I'll show you where we're at. Man, I am, I am pretty, pretty satisfied with that so far. So right now, that's kind of where we're at with the jersey removal. So that's pretty good. Um, so what I would typically do, guys, is um, I would let this sit. And um, I actually have a, uh, a dry rag. Oh, it's underneath here. Um, I have a dry rag. And so what I'll do is I would pull that dry rag out. I would kind of dry that and um, make sure that um, I kind of, you know, got that. Uh, I, you know, when you remove the, the wetness, it kind of gives you more opportunity to kind of dig in there. I'm trying to think. I'm going to try and use my fingernail here. So I'm going to go ahead and put some, uh, I'm going to put some more alcohol on there. And let's see, if I use my fingernail, if I can just really kind of dig in there, even with the uh, Q-tip, if you really just want to kind of get in there and, and uh, let me use my fingernail and just see. You don't want to be too hard on it because, man, I'm telling you, if you ruin the thread, it's just it's such a bummer. But this will be super, super cool once I get this all, uh, once I get this all removed. And if you have one at home and you have any questions or you have any thoughts, you know, you feel free to leave a comment. I have no idea how many people that are going to see this video. Um, I don't know that there are a lot of people out there trying to remove signatures or Sharpies from jerseys, but um, I know I was because, again, this jersey, uh, if I were selling, would go from being um, approximately, you know, again, I paid, you know, I told you it was 100, 200, I think it was maybe 150 bucks, but the value of this jersey just absolutely skyrockets whenever you... Uh, whenever you remove that personalization because it can then at that point it can be you know anybody can have it you know it's not just like it's oh one person <laughs> you know like i told you the terry bradshaw picture my name was joe we'd have a totally different story and obviously my name's not macho man so that's not going to uh do anybody any good so guys um you know again i'm not gonna i'm not gonna probably keep you on for the whole time but I did just want to do one quick run through. Now I'm going to let that dry. And um, when I come back, um, I'm going to run and do it again. And um, probably it looks like this is going to be like two or three times. And this should all come off. So I'm going to do one more quick run through with bleach. And let's see, let's kind of see where, where we land with one more quick run through with bleach. Um, so we'll get some Q-tips. Put the bleach on there. Bring it over. I'm gonna really push hard on this one. I still, that L, that L is giving me fits. Um, another thing that I considered doing, I actually tried, and um, I didn't mention this, guys, but before I tried this, one of the things that I did just to kind of be like totally certain I wasn't gonna screw this jersey up is um i had a sydney crosby jersey um it was you know it was a, the same quality um but i drew an 87 in the corner of uh his number and i drew the 87 and so i tested um you know the method that i had i kind of read a bunch of different things online and they had um you know a lot of different things that they uh they would suggest that you try and um so I looked a lot of those up and I used the Crosby jersey as a test subject. And that, that 87 that I drew on the Crosby, it, to it totally came out. I mean, there was nothing left. Now, that may be because it was a fresh, a fresh number. And so, you know, it hadn't sat for a long, long time. But again, um, as far as this goes, um, pretty, pretty cool that, you know, this came out. So it'll go and uh, it'll sit with all my other jerseys. But I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up, guys. I'll show you uh, one last picture before we go. Um, you know, I thought maybe the before and after would give you a really good visual. But remember, now, um, the, the, the last step that I'm going to do uh, before I do let you go 
Um, and this is important. So it's not just about the alcohol and the, um, you know, the bleach. So we've done all that and we made a huge amount of progress in 15 minutes. I mean, huge. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you where we're at now. So if I take this and I lift up, um, 